Hey, you, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Hey, brother. We got the word of the Lord going right now, man. This is this is very important. Hey, come on, real quick, man. Step out. No, no, listen. All right, real quick. Real quick. I got something to show you. Real quick. Come on. Verse seven. Then will I cut off Israel out of the land which I have given them, and this house which I have hallowed for my name, right. which excuse me, will I cast out of my sight, and Israel shall be a proverb and a byword among all people. All right. So it says Israel, the nation of Israel, is going to be a proverb and a byword. We're going to be called niggers, spicks, lazy, um, drunkards, whoremongers. We're going to be called all that by all the other nations that laugh at us. Right? Keep going. Verse 8, and at this house, which is high, everyone that passeth by it shall be astonished. They say they're going to be astonished at us. They're going to look at us and say, look at these niggas, man. How come they can't get it together? How come they can't get jobs like us? I work hard for my money. Why can't you do it? Sex and Nate, welfare. Teach. Stop taking my money. I'm paying for you with my taxes. That's what they're going to say about you. Keep going. And shall hiss, and they shall say, why hath the Lord done thus unto this land and to this house? Why did the Lord do this to this nation of Israel? Why did they do this to this? Why did the Lord do this to this people? Teach. Why did he put them so low to be the worst of the worst? Yes. Keep going. Verse 9. And they shall answer because they forsook the Lord their God. The other nations know that they keep them at the bottom, keep you sinning, that you're never going to be on top again. Because there is no equality. You're not going to be equal with them. You're either going to be on top of them ruling or you're going to be at the bottom being serving, serving them. Well, they know this. That's why they push you coming out on these to the store on Saturdays and, and breaking the Sabbath. The more you break the Sabbath, the longer we'll be in captivity. The other nations know this. Keep going. Who brought forth their fathers out of the land of Egypt. Our fathers were the ones in the land of Egypt. That's our forefathers. Moses was our forefather. And all the people out there in the wilderness with them was our forefathers and foremothers. That's our people by blood. Not no fairy tales, not no fairy tale stuff. This is real. This is real. Where are you going? And have taken hold upon other gods and have worshipped them and served them. Therefore, hath the Lord brought upon them all this evil. It's a great evil that's upon us because we're supposed to be kings ruling, like I said. Teach. This is all in the Bible. I can't make this stuff up. It's a King James Version Bible, the same Bible that you have. I encourage you, brother, to go home and search out this Bible, all right? Because this is your history. Right. Because but when I was in school, I learned that our history started when we got off the slave ships. Right. That's when our history started to, to, in the school system. That's right. I don't know if the slave ships were some chains, butt naked, didn't know how to speak. Uh, you know, we couldn't speak English, we couldn't do nothing right. Mm -hmm. That was our history. But God came back to us, and he's telling us our history is all throughout this Bible. Right. All from the beginning. We were the first men made. That's not a fairy tale. We're supposed to rule this world. Teach. We're supposed to have all the other nations subject to us. Right. But we fell because we didn't want to keep the laws of God. Right. Simple things like don't shave your beard, uh, don't work on a Sabbath day, don't Fringes. buy a cook, wear the fringes, yep. don't treat your don't treat your uh, sister like a whore. Be poor. Honor your honor your father and your mother. Right. That's the thing about it. We put the woman on top of the on the man. That's a sin. Right. The Bible has scriptures all throughout here talking about when Eve Eve was the one that was deceived, not Adam. Then you read the story about uh, about uh, Samson. What? How did Samson lose his hair? That long hair. How did he lose it? Who cut his hair? A woman. Right. Bring it up. A woman cut his hair. Make it plain. Paul tells you all throughout the scripts. That's why he said, "Give me that." And Paul, I suffer not a woman. The reason why Paul was so upset, he's telling you because he saw the history. He read the history of the Bible that women were the ones that always brought the man down. Man's supposed to have a a sharp mind. The woman has the light mind. We're supposed to be teaching the women, but now we got women teaching the men. And like I said, that goes into a father not being in the household. If a father's not in the household, what's going to happen? The boy's going to grow up to hate his father. Why? Because his mother's going to teach him that. Be like me, son. Get on, get on Instagram and, and let's match their pictures and pose like a homosexual. Yeah, yeah, give me that. That's it. Now, like I said, Paul said this in the, in the New Testament because the Old Testament, the New Testament, the same thing. It's reiterating itself. There is no difference. The only difference is that we don't sacrifice animals anymore because Christ was our human sacrifice. That's right. We don't have to do that no more. We're in the grace, which means we have to keep the commandments. But if we slip up from time to time, Christ is there to, 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 um, to cover that. He's the teacher to keep on, get back on the right track. That's why it says a just man falls, uh, how many times? Seven times? 
You have to keep getting back up. So you're gonna fall, but you gotta keep getting back up and keeping the commandments. Read this. First Timothy two. First Timothy two twelve. 12. First Timothy chapter two verse twelve. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to you serve. Verse eleven. Verse eleven. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. It says, let the woman learn in silence. A woman is not supposed to be teaching you the, the scripts. Right. It said in all what? In all subjection. A woman was made to be subject to a man. Give me that in Genesis. All the way from the beginning, this is what, this is what Paul is talking about. Because remember, I said evil deceived. We're going to prove it in the Bible. Evil deceived, and she was, her punishment for that was what? Genesis was it 3? 3, 3, 16, yeah. Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. Upon the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. Now for that, they had, the, the, the sorrow was talking about bringing forth kids. That's why they go through so much pain. Even on a monthly basis, they have, basically they have periods. You ever, you know, you have women that have no cramps and everything. They be, that's their time of the month. You know, it's, it's a very terrible time for them. But that's, that's, that's what happens. That's their punishment for trying to usurp the authority over Adam. Because that was the whole thing. Keep going. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. And thy desire shall be to thy husband. Thy desire shall be to thy husband. Your wife is supposed to, whatever you want, she's supposed to be able to do it for you. She's supposed to please you. That's her, that's her life. Give me 1 Corinthians 11. Yes, sir. We're going to go right back to the New Testament to prove it. It's an order to things. Christ says there's an order. So from the beginning it says the woman's supposed to be under the man, taking, taking uh, uh, being under the man and learning from the man. A woman can't teach a man about the Bible because it wasn't given to her. Right. Read it from uh, Paul. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So you know the head of us, the man, our head is Christ. We follow Christ. We're supposed to walk in his way. So when we see that Christ wore fringes, what are we going to do? We're going to wear fringes. That's right. right. We see Christ has a beard, we're going to grow our beard out. That's, That's right. right. Christ was an austere man. He wasn't no soft punk. That's right. So we're not going to come out here and be talking to you like, oh, hey, how you doing, baby? You know, God loves you. That's not us. Right. We're supposed to be loud and bold. That's right. Because Christ was loud. He right. said his voice like the, the multitude of many waters. That's right. right. That's why Christ was. That's why we speak loud so everybody can hear us. Right. Keep going. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the what? Is the man. So the head is the man. You're supposed to be over your wife teaching her the Bible. Right. She can't learn on her own. A man is always supposed to be over her Bible. Let me get let me get this. So when a when a when a girl when a woman goes and gets uh, married, who walks her down the aisle? Bring her father. Why does her father walk her down the aisle? He's the head of the house. He's the head of the house. That's right. right. So when he walks. He walks his daughter down the aisle. What does he then do when he gets to the, to the front? He gives it to who? Her husband. So. Who is over her now? Her husband. It's, so it's, it's simple. Make Think it play. This. this whole thing is very simple. Make it play. It's not hard because Christ said this is to be simple and understood. This is Christ all throughout the Bible. So we teach these things because God said that. Your pastor is not going to tell you that. He's going to tell you you can put a woman in a pulpit and teach a man. The scriptures don't say that. So why do we keep on following the things that, that the white man wants you to do? He knows that if, if a woman's over, you're going to be soft and feminine. Right. Because I'm going to tell you like this. This week, my wife. I don't know where she just, I don't know where just, no logic, just sometimes you're like, what, what are you thinking? When things happen, I'm supposed to sit back and you know what, let me examine this before I make a decision. Something something crazy happens, we just look at it. Okay, yeah, let me, before I do that, let me think about this, because if I do that, that could lead to this, this, and this. Women, not so much. When stuff happens, they, they lose their damn head. That's why Christ knew what he was doing when he said the man should be over the woman. Right. All right. Now the woman had their role. They're supposed to teach the children. They're supposed to take care of the house. That's the desire for you. When you come home from work, a long day at work, you want your house clean, right? You want your house clean, probably get you a nice meal, get you a drink or whatever the case may be. You want to be able to relax, chill. Did she come up there and deal with you? It's a good thing. That's how it should be all throughout the Bible. That's what it's telling you. But when you gotta come home and fight your wife, we just had a long 11 hour day at work, you gotta come home and argue with your wife now about why she didn't clean up the house, about how, why things ain't the way it should be. That's not of God. Right. That's confusion according to the Bible. Teach. All right. Hey bro, you got any other questions though? No, but look, I, listen, take that fire, but this is the best, this is, this is the gospel that, that Christ is speaking about. Right. This is the gospel that he came to preach, that we, the, the Israelites, are the, are the best thing that ever happened to this world. Right. Nothing on this earth would be running if it wasn't for us. If we wasn't here, there wouldn't be no sun, there wouldn't be no moon, there wouldn't be no rain, there wouldn't be no stars. Nothing would go on unless it was here. The earth was made for you. Right. 
I know you probably heard that in some little philosophy, oh, you're God. That's, but you understand it. You understand that you are a God. Right. You are a God because God said you are. The Most High said that you're his child. Everybody's not a child of God. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.